Hello guys, in this video tutorial I will show you how to design the centrifugal impeller of the pump uh, using the FreeCAD. So let's open the GitHub and here we will download uh, the program for calc 1D calculation of um, centrifugal pump impeller based on uh, flow rate, uh, rotation speed and uh, required head okay so uh, you have to paste in search and search the pi pump model uh, the reposit repository from here you can do it load it pi pump and let's open the releases and let's download the cpd version 0.2 okay when you download it i have uh, pasted it on my desktop cpd and let's open the folder with cpd and uh, let's open this program here we will uh, calculate of main dimensions of uh, centrifugal pump impeller and you can to paste these uh, dimensions to Macroses from FreeCAD for um, creation the centrifugal impeller. Uh, you can to uh, see introduction to this FreeCAD macroses in my previous um, tutorial on my channel. Okay, so let's um, set here the sum. values i will set it for example 300 and let's um, set here some ra random values for example 100 and for example let's set 300 3000 of rotation speed Head of pump will be 100 and for example here we will set the 150 flow rate okay after that we will choose the single stage single entry and let's make the calculate uh, let's make the steep curve of the head uh, Per flow rate, the performance characteristics of the pump, if you will set HQ curve coefficient to zero point, it will be very steep characteristic. Okay, and let's set the seven blades, and you will get the predicted head 100. Uh, 12. and after that let's um, decrease the beta to angle and you will get 100 maybe something like 20 and we will increase this 1.0 you, you will get something like 100 okay so let's save the report of this pump and I will call it pump 1 and save it to my desktop you will find it pump point xt and you can see here the all different parameters the main dimensions of meridional section blade parameters and predicted um, pump performance characteristics for 1d calculation so let's open the free cat and here uh, you have to use this macroses from my previous uh, video tutorial where we, we downloaded it from github and uh, we paste the pass to this radial turbo macros free cat okay and let's open this macroses let's open the Google meridional bezier it's first step and for this uh, meridional section we have to set the main dimensions from from this so 
let's start with d0 and will be for d3 d2 it's width of the plate let's set some bigger value L this lens it's very specific uh, value and let's go to the d2 and d0 how can you see we have this very very big lens and let's decrease it for example 18 I think we can to set smaller value 50 I think the 45 or 40 will be enough maybe the maybe 45 okay and uh, let's set the leading edge position here let's increase this menu and the position on the shroud it will be this point for example 15 is enough for HEP let's set it for example 35 I think and for average let's set 20 or maybe 25 okay so now it looks uh, good position for leading edge and let's choose the cylindrical blades types um, we will ignore this um, average line for calculation of uh, angles uh, of blade we'll be using the shroud line and hub line of this line okay let's go let's uh, refresh the geometry and how can you see we have delete this average line and let's go to macros and create the surface choose this and make the execute and you will get the something like uh, blade uh, with zero thickness okay let's uh, set the angles for shroud hub and better two is trailing edge of the blade and the recommendation of um, this angle between the axis and trailing edge if you front view of the blade have okay so let's go to parameters of uh, surface blade and let's set the better one shroud to be 23 to 20 go to beta 1 this is for average we don't use the average uh, and when with cylindrical blade equal false it's working but we have the true it doesn't work okay so now let's go to the hub beta 1 hub will be 40 angle and paste 20 so uh, let's uh, check the this angle omega called it in the report we can call check it true and to show the graph and how can you see we have the this recommendation for hub okay let's go to the chart of the shroud and uh, here for shroud we have the beta angel dependencies and theta angel it uh, called also like in report the omega angle it's equals name names equal Names. okay so now we have the very big value it 155 but we have to de decrease it uh, we can to decrease to use this um, beta dependency because this 
expression between the theta angle and beta angle. Okay, let's close it and try to decrease, for example, this to 25, for example. And how can you see? We have decrease this theta angle and we have the trailing edge. It have to be something like um, perpendicular to throughout our hub surface. Okay, so let's 25 um, maybe oh, and go here and 24 for example uh, it this values means that we choose the point at x it means that we have the 40 percent at this point and 25 value at this beta angel and after that we have the 75 it's this point and 24 value in y, di y direction okay so let's we have the 144 let's decrease it let's increase this and this so 7 and 26 and we have something like what we need and the blade looks really in a good shape after that let's go to the macroses and let's go to sort macros and generate the blade blades uh, we have the recommendation of number blades seven we have the seven blades and we can find it in blades let's check it we have the number of blade 7 and let's set the thickness of this uh, blades we have the 5.5 uh, let's set uh, 4 millimeters thickness for leading edge and for trailing edge and this recommendation 5.5 we will set the thickness for 40 lens and 75 lens of the old blade okay and also let's make it for this okay and now the blade looks uh, good maybe um, the we can also to uh, change the type of leading edge we can to use the circle or ellipse with coefficient if you will change it you will get this ellipse but i will set circle it looks good and we have this impeller yeah let's uh, create uh, the periodic domain cfd as uh, this uh, domain cfd we will be using for cfd simulation in uh, second uh, part of video tutorial in ansys workbench and maybe future i will make the tutorial for open form also so let's create this uh, periodic domain and let's save it like step file and step file you can use uh, for creation the mesh in ANSYS or in um, another software like Salom or Gmesh or another okay let's make the step and I will save it like step and CVD domain I will call it and click I will go to my desktop, save the domain, save it, and let's click pause for periodic, and we can save the blades also. Choose the blades and click export, and also blades in two-step file. You can open it, for example, in SolidBox or you can to also to choose this and 
not this meridional the shroud and hub surfaces and save it together export and for example blades and let's resave it rewrite it okay so uh, let's save the project of this also parametrical model you can save it like free cat file for example um, imp impella save okay uh, so thank you for watching uh, in the next uh, part video tutorial we will make the cvd simulation in ansys uh, and the future in open form so uh, thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye